Hey guys, welcome back to Madero Vlog Moments and today I'm going to be sharing with you some Carnival Cruise tips. Welcome back everybody. I post here every Monday and Wednesday about traveling, carnival cruises, all kinds of cruises, as well as Disney and share our adventures here on this channel. So if you have tips for traveling with Carnival, leave it in the comment section below so we can help other fellow travelers. But I wanted to share with you nine tips that I have for cruising with Carnival. So number one, research your ship. Not all are the same. Now we've made this mistake because not all of them have water slides, which is a must for this family because we have little kids that love cruising on a cruise ship that has water slides. Uh, make sure you check out Wikipedia. Now that may not seem like the likely source for cruising, but the reason why is it'll have the ship years and when they've been refurbished. I found that even on the cruise ship's website, you may not find all of the facts about each cruise um, as you will on Wikipedia. So finding out when they were built, when they were refurbished is important to me, as well as the layout. We went on the Victory out of Miami and we thought that all Carnival cruises were equal. They aren't. On the Victory, the layout was very frustrating for us. Um, I think the Triumph is the same. They're like sister ships. They were built the same in the same style. On different levels, the decks, you can't get all the way across. So when you're on like the casino level, you can't get to the dining room. You'd have to go down and over and it was always, we always have to like go down and over and try to figure out how to get around and we found it frustrating. So I just wanna encourage you to research your ship and make sure that it works for you guys. Number two, download a couple of the apps. First one being the Carnival app. We found that very helpful. It has like a countdown until you're traveling, which is kind of cool. And so every time you pull it up, you can see it and it's exciting until your next cruise. Also, you can download the Shipmate app and then you can connect with fellow cruisers. And I would recommend that for any cruise, whether it's Carnival or not but that'll let you explore your ship, get to know other cruisers, and find out where your room is located, which is kind of cool too. Make sure, if you can, it sells out quick, get a faster to the fun pass. It's one fee per family, and you get to get on the cruise ship before everybody else. And that is important because then you can start your, your uh, vacation faster. Some of the best food is on Carnival ships. So number four is look for the amazing food that's included in your cruise price, like the blue iguana, um, the Magnolia Grill, where they make the food fresh for you and you can put what you want in your stir fry bowl. It is so yummy every time and there's always a huge line. So I make sure to look in our um, little newsletter they put out every night when it opens and I get in line right away because I don't want to be spending my vacation time waiting in a 30 minute line. Guy's Burgers is amazing and they actually have veggie burgers back there too. Just ask them for one because this girl's a vegetarian. Number five, formal night isn't always so formal. If you want to wear pants, ladies, go for it. If you don't want to fully dress up, you don't have to. It's very, very flexible. But if you want to dress up, people are dressing up and going to the nines. You really can. Number six, internet isn't free. So put your phone on airplane mode so you're not sorry. Or make sure that you get the package or call your, um, your cell phone provider before you go because you can rack up a big bill when you get back and that is not the best. Number seven, we have found that connecting cabins are sometimes close to the same price as putting four of us in one cabin. So we always try to look for that first because to have that extra room, the extra storage, the extra bathroom, it's been really nice. The kids can watch cartoons, we can watch Law and Order. <laughs> it's been really nice. And we found that Carnival usually, it's like a two person per room price and then it's a little bit more for each kid in the room. Whereas if you get the next cabin, I mean, it's sometimes it works out to being almost the same. And so we've really benefited from having all that space. Number eight, buy their water package. You can have water bottles delivered to your cabin. I don't think you're allowed to bring them on board anymore, but it's only like, I think between two and $3 and they'll deliver your 12 bottles of water. And we like to have water with us. Um, and if you purchase it before you get on the cruise, it's cheaper than buying it once you're already on board. 
Number nine, after one cruise, you're now part of the VIFP, the Very Important Fun Person Club. I think that's what it stands for, correct me if I'm wrong, but that means you get discounts on future cruises. So it's really exciting. The longer you cruise with Carnival, the more benefits you have. If you like these kinds of videos, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already to see more videos like this one, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.